Hello, it's Marion Stewart and I wanted to come on and talk about insomnia because lots of you are focusing on that today. I can see that there are lots of different remedies being thrown up. How do you get a peaceful night's sleep when you're feeling so wretched in the night, having lots of night sweats and it seems to be incessant and then in between all that you have to keep getting up to pee as well and it's not great. So as many of you are settling down for bed, you can see in the background I'm in a place where it's still daytime, but it has been a long day for me because I've been working with my boot camp group today, which is going really well. And so I just wanted to come on to talk to the main group about and remind you that you can overcome symptoms and focusing on insomnia, first of all. So whilst there are lots of remedies to help with sleep, they are, for the most part, what I call a band-aid solution. So lots of you have tried things like valerian. Some people are suggesting lavender oil or a hot pillow or something that will make you feel a bit more relaxed at night and indeed there are lots of things that will do that but what you need to do apart from all that is you've got to address the underlying cause because if you don't then you're never going to get anywhere so you have to look at what's going on in your body at this time of your life and how do you address it how do you meet your needs so that you resume peaceful sleep again so what you need to understand, first of all, is that very often women have got low levels of important nutrients. You may have heard me say this before, but it's so important because your body can't function normally if your nutrients aren't in an optimum range. Just can't do it. So it's really important to get your magnesium levels, for example, back into a normal range. And we found that magnesium is the most common deficiency amongst women of childbearing age. We found that between... 50 to 80% of women had low levels. That was in their menstruating years. And we know that the levels fall even further as you get older. So magnesium is just one of the things. Calcium is important. Zinc is important. There's lots of nutrients that if your nutrients are out of sync, it will be difficult for you to have a peaceful night's sleep. And then you go into perimenopause and the menopause. And what happens? Your estrogen levels fall. And when your estrogen levels fall, those little estrogen receptor sites within the cells which are a bit, there's like little space, a bit like a space for a key in a lock, are empty. And so your brain doesn't understand the fact that they're empty. And it doesn't understand the fact that your ovaries aren't needed anymore. And so it tries to kickstart your ovaries back into function. And you get these thermal surges going through your system, which give you a jolt and wake you up in the night. And that's what it's all about. So if you not only get your nutrients into an optimum range, but if you can also put naturally occurring estrogen into your system, then you're going to stand the most chance of getting normality in your body again. And that's the really important thing. So these naturally occurring estrogens look so similar to estrogen that you had before the menopause when you look under the microscope. They, they can fool the brain into thinking you've got normal circulating estrogen again. And then what happens? The brain doesn't need to send out the thermal surges anymore. And so the flushes and the night sweats disappear. So whilst you can use remedies in the first place, and indeed if you go to my web shop and type in sleep, you'll get pages of things that come up that have been shown to be helpful with sleep. So we do use valerian products. There are some patches in there. There's all sorts of things. There's asphalia sleep. There's things that I've used with my patients over time. But the most important thing is to get yourself into really good shape so that you can sleep peacefully again because your brain and your nervous system and your hormones are functioning normally. And that's the key thing. So doing lots of relaxation is important, making sure you don't get stimulated before you go to bed by technology. So switch everything off for a few hours before you go to bed. Take some valerian supplements if you can't relax. If you fall asleep easily but you wake up in the night, then maybe take them in the night. You, there's an app called Paziz, which I love, and it's got a sleep program, so you can use that during the night to help you get back to sleep. But these are all temporary measures, lots of temporary measures that you can use while you're getting yourself back into really good shape. And it takes a while to get yourself into good shape. It doesn't happen overnight, so you have to work at it. But I'm going to be talking more about what's going on in your body and how you can redress the balance and get your symptoms under control certainly um, cutting out caffeine and stuff like that. There's all sorts of other things. And I've got a masterclass on Thursday evening, UK time at 7.30. So you're welcome to join me for that. You can just go to marionstuart.com forward slash masterclass 
and click on the link and you can come and join us. I think there's already about 400 people coming to that. I've got 500 places. So if you want a place, come and register and come and listen to what I've got to say because it's really important. You're at a crossroads. You can do nothing and you'll get worse. You can listen to what everyone else is saying and try a bit of this and a bit of that and hope that it's going to work. But personally, I've been doing this for such a long time, I really seriously doubt it. You're not going to crack these major menopause symptoms with one simple initiative. It just isn't going to happen. You've got to learn. There are five tried and tested ways to sort out your symptoms. I'm going to be focusing on that in the masterclass. So please come and join me so that you can really be informed and you'll take the guesswork out of all of this so that you can get yourself back on track to reclaiming your well-being. And then you can get on with the rest of your life. You don't need to be hampered by these symptoms morning, night and noon and actually dread bedtime because you can't face it because you know you're going to be up in the night. You don't want your partner to touch you because you know you're going to have a hot flush and you know you're going to wake up in the morning feeling terrible and really vulnerable because you haven't had proper sleep and then you can't concentrate and you can't focus and you feel moody and you feel anxious in the night because you can't get back to sleep again. You want to break all that. You just need to break that cycle and just learn how to meet your needs so you can get back to feeling really well again. So that's what I want for you. That's what I'm here to help provide. So do come and join me at the masterclass because I'll have a whole hour and then I'm doing a question and answer session at the end so you can give me your questions and hopefully I'll answer as many of them as I possibly can. So see you Thursday hopefully and I hope you get a better night's sleep tonight just knowing that it's possible. And in the meantime, download the Pazis app on your phone and plug into that. You can keep the earplugs in your ears at night and it does help. It doesn't help instantly though. Nothing's going to be instant. You have to know that. But make sure you don't have caffeine today or tomorrow. Just keep the caffeine at bay. You may get some withdrawal symptoms to start with, but you'll feel better eventually. And you just need to focus on make time for yourself. Focus on getting yourself well again. And once you're well, you can go back to normality and get on and embrace your life again. So hopefully see you Thursday. Bye.